Hey, it's running. Peace out, man. Or peace in. So I'm in Kimmy, cutting some big fat junk here. Got a couple of big cucumber poplar trees. Cucumber magnolia. So I thought maybe we could make a little bid. See how this works. That's a big fat tree. I don't even know if it's sound or anything. I don't know. Find out. How's everybody doing today? Just wanted to let everybody know how much I appreciate everybody's comments and stuff. It's been, it's been pretty dudley lately, I admit, but so wow, oh, what's going on? I haven't had a lot of uh, I don't know. I guess I have had time, but it's not a lot of ambition, I guess. I don't know. Kind of bummed out about the work situation. So anyway. Like I said, I don't know what I don't know what this thing's gonna be like, but not real worried about it, it's a piece of junk anyway, but we'll get it out of here and let something good grow, right? Well, there she goes. Boof. Oh, that's nasty. I don't even know if I can get it. I guess it's sound. I don't know. It's pretty nasty looking, isn't it? Well, there's a lot of junk in here. Half decent young stuff trying to get grown. I'm trying to bash down some sassafras, but I'm cutting all the sassafras I can in here. The place is loaded with, uh, believe it or not, loaded with ash and uh, oak saplings. What do I do now? Run into something? Yeah, I just had that friggin' thing cut good. Today. not like broken stubs sprouting. Not good for the forest. Ah. The forest? Yeah, anyway, for this sassafras, I could care less about it. Bunch of junk. But there's quite a few, uh, yeah, there's quite a few oak saplings. And the ash, too. I mean, there was a lot of bigger ash in here. Not big, big ash, but decent size, you know, whatever. Stuff the size of a dinner plate, bigger than burn. It uh, did burn. It, it died because of that damn borer. But there's a lot of ash saplings in here, you know, four or five inches in diameter. So if I break them, I'm coppicing them down at the ground so the root will take off again, you know, get stump shot. That way. I'm surprised that uh, as many ash as there is. Wow, what is the freaking problem there? I must have, I must have hit something. This thing was just cutting good, now it won't cut at all. Oh, brother. 
What the hell? There must have been some metal or a rock or something in that. But this shouldn't be cut my like that. Wow. Oh, I just spent 15 minutes straightening that chain out. I found it under the seat that I'm running low on chains today. I broke one. I stole another one. So I got that out from underneath the seat. I don't know. I don't know. Sharpened it, but the freaking angles are horrible on it. So I spent like 15 or 20 minutes resetting all the angles on it so it was cut. It was a ground chain, but whoever ground it, wow, I don't know. Terrible. So I re ground it and got it working. Now I guess I don't know what I hit. It's just cut pretty good when I cut the that butt off. I don't know whether it's wire or. I don't think wire would do that. It almost acts like a stone or something. I've been in and out of this goddamn machine 150 times today. Just can't get anything done today. Fix this. Fix that. Tighten this. Sharpen that. Friggin' work. Alright, well. So be it. I guess. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day sharpening. Alright. Ta-ta, y'all.